And hello everybody, um, I am doing a little tiny update on the mud bug trike. Um, I did do one some, uh, covering a uh, couple holes here that, uh, rusted through, and, uh, which, um, seems to work pretty good. I'll have to show you the compound that I'm using. It's actually a metal to metal um, Evercoat. And it comes in two parts. You got this hardener, hardener step also. And uh, just got to keep sanding it. And uh, I'm using my Dremel. This here had a big hole in it. There was a big hole in here. And so what I did was I just uh, put like cardboard, a piece of wood here, and then I put cardboard underneath of it. I'll show you what it looked like. This is what I had. When you take the cardboard off, peel it off, and this is what it leaves. So you can always, you know, sand this a little bit, you know, and course the rest of this needs to be wire wheeled or whatever but it wasn't uh, in the best of shape I did the same thing with the differential I had a lot of pitting as you've seen on other videos and it's looking looking better and there is, you know, some of the sharp, deep pitting here. And, uh, you could kind of see where it was. And, uh, there is still work to be done with it. And then, same goes for here, too. But, anyways, that is it for this video. It's just a short, short video. And, uh give you an idea um, what we're looking at and if anybody wants to use this type of compound to um, compound to cover any rust holes or anything that you need to cover up uh, it's a lot cheaper than having someone weld and the compound was only like it was like 37 30 eight dollars for the court at your local automotive store and uh, who knows I might even use it on my truck and it smells like Bondo and uh, but it gets pretty hard it gets really hard um, it's you know easy to sand I use my Dremel and uh, it seems to work out pretty good. Um, you might want to use regular sandpaper and curve it to your uh, differential, you know. And uh, but anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.